Good evening and welcome to Gaming with Reg Bob. This is episode 13 in the free video game collection series. So at the end of episode 12, uh, I decided to do a big purge, get rid of loads of stuff that I had knocking around, not video game related or stuff that I was going to keep, uh, mostly like Blu-rays, DVDs and stuff like that. And I also had one Xbox uh, 360 game uh, Mortal Kombat 1 which was worth a decent bit of voucher uh, I was going to get the cash for it but I thought I'd stick with a voucher because the voucher was al almost a third more than the cash value uh, so so this is the stuff that I decided not to uh, trade into CX so that that's all just going to get put on the shelf and it's all listed on eBay. So there's a few Blu-rays in there and a, and a few DVDs. Most of them are sealed, so hopefully they will sell on uh, eBay. Uh, so what did I trade in then? So I uh, got quite a lot of stuff to trade in. It was really weird, actually, because normally when I go to uh, CX, they, they're all over the stuff. They open every single case up, make sure that the correct disc is in there, make sure that there's no scratches. And I literally just put like 20 items on on the desk and said, look, I want to trade all these in. And they went, cash or voucher? I said, voucher, please. They, they scanned all the games and the media items and everything and went, yeah, that's this amount on cash or this amount on voucher. What do you want to do? I said, oh, I'll take the voucher, please. And they literally just checked that the... The most expensive thing, the Xbox 360 game, was in there and it was in decent condition. And went, yeah, there you go. There's your voucher sign there. So yeah, so I managed to get quite, quite get rid of quite a lot of stuff. So traded in uh, Oasis Blu-ray disc 10p. So blu another Blu-ray 10p, another Blu-ray 10p. I got a Sports Party 80 pence trading on that. So I had two copies of that, and one of them, the one that traded in, was quite scratched, and I just kind of mixed it in there. Uh, got another Blu-ray there. The Mortal Kombat game got twenty pound for that. Uh, those Xbox original games that I I bought for ten pence managed to get forty pence each for them. Uh, PlayStation Two Medal of Honor game again, it was scratched. Uh, Captain America Blu-ray some dvds there uh that just dance 2 again that was another scratch game but they, they didn't even check so yeah happy so in total i got 23 pound and 70 pence uh in a voucher so yeah happy with that so uh negative 81 pound and a few pence and i've got a voucher in the collection for 23 pound and 70 pence so yeah, happy with that. Uh, this is all the stuff that I didn't even bother taking to CX along with the other stuff. This is game related. So uh, I've got a couple of copies of that Kinect game. Uh, FIFA 18, uh, an Xbox 360 game, uh, Pop Idols and a few, few discs there. So uh, those two are empty cases. I'll use them as spares in case I get any cracked or damaged cases in the future. And the same with the Xbox 360 case there. It's not worth anything. Uh, and, and then I've got obviously got a spare case or FIFA game. Then I've got these few discs in, in a load of stuff that I bought. It was like 10 media items for ten uh, for a pound, sorry. So it worked out 10 pounds each, but it was a bit of a car crash. But I I wanted to get 10 items. I didn't want to waste any money. So yeah, I got a few few uh, just random discs there. So uh, that one being the one that I was quite excited for. So I'm going to try and see if I can get a, pick up a case for that. So that's Sonic uh, Mega Collection Plus on the PlayStation 2. But the rugby game is not worth anything. Uh, but the two goods to throw away. The discs are immaculate. So again, uh, I'll just put on the shelf on the on the resale slash spares uh, section. So uh, yeah, uh, I went to a few CXs because I, I was doing a bit of travelling. I think I went into Nottingham. I went into Loughborough, Beeston. One I never been in that one before. To be honest, there wasn't much stuff. Uh, I had, a, I had a look in all, all three of them, the retro section. I was looking for like Game Boy games, Game Gear, that kind of thing to add to the collection. Nothing at all. Uh, 
obviously if you follow me uh this is my second series this is the free video game collection so i did a free wii u collection which i've which I've added to the free video game collection. It kind of, the free video game collection kind of uh, started when I finished the free Wii. So uh, yeah, but I, I I always said I was going to add, add to the Wii collection and I've kind of incorporated it into this collection. So everything that I got free in the Wii U collection, I've, I've carried it over to this. There was some cash and a bit of voucher as well I carried over. So that gave us like a start for this. But like I say, we're at minus... Uh, 81 pound at the minute so we've been going for 10 months so the free video uh sorry the free week collection started 10 months ago i think it was like end of february this year uh so in 10 months we've got a massive collection of stuff and uh yeah so i'm just going to keep going we're minus 81 pound but we will get that money money back at some point and and that's my my pretty much target now so the the aim the aim is basically uh by the end of february so that'll be a full calendar year uh to be at zero so completely free uh h1 pound to make back i've got a bit of voucher i've got a few things that i can sell that i don't particularly want to keep but we'll, we'll get there we'll see how we get on I've, I've still got that set of knives as well which i've not listed on ebay uh, probably just going to wait till till next year now and and put them on because I've not, not really had time to take pictures of them properly. Anyway, however, sorry, I'm d just going on a bit there. I if I'd see them because you never see them out in the wild, you never seen it. I've never seen any in a charity shop really or anywhere. So and the prices on them have dropped just recently. So if I see a Wii U game, uh, I will pick it up. And obviously, CX is the perfect place to pick them up so uh obviously i got 23 pound and 70 pence voucher so i think this was the beast and one so i picked just dance 15 up from uh the beast and cx and that was two pound 50 which left us at 21 pound and 20 pence left the voucher uh and i don't mind picking up games for using the voucher and, and that's the reason why sometimes yeah i could have took the 14 pound cash for the Mortal Kombat, but for twenty twenty pound voucher, it was a bit of a no brainer, and yeah. So uh, the one in Nottingham, so I picked up three games in Nottingham. So I got NBA Two K Thirteen for two pound fifty. Uh, I got another Just Dance Two Thousand Eighteen that was four pound, and then I got Lego Avengers on the Wii U. So four Wii U games there for basically twelve pound. So. That came to £10.50 in total for those three games from Nottingham CX. Uh, again, I used my voucher, so we've got £10.70 left in voucher. So, yeah, minus £81 and £10.70 left in voucher, so really happy. Uh, again, and, and this is the last time I'm going to stop doing this because all I'm doing is just adding to the pile, but I thought this was, this was too good to to uh leave behind so it was basically I'll, I'll get here big massive pile again of stuff okay it was media items were two pound uh, sorry one pound or up to 10 items for one pound so if you got one item it was one pound if you got 10 items it was one pound Two different places, same thing. A lot of the charity shops are doing this now, 10, ten items for a pound. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these I only wanted the two two items, so it would have cost me two pound whether I picked up just the two items or all 20 odd items. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the first thing I picked up, and again, I only picked these up because these were in immaculate condition. So I got a Wii game there, Wii Up. Okay, again, it looks brand new in size, probably never even been played. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that. And this one, again, uh, Just Dance 2018. So, this is the Wii version, not the Wii U. But this is a £10 game. So, yeah, I didn't want to leave it. I could trade it in, but I'm going to keep it because it is immaculate. The book's not even got a, a mark on it and everything. So, I'm going to keep that and add that to the collection. 
and then the rest of the stuff i'm not even going to bother going through it is is all a mixture of dvds I, again if they are if they've got new seal ones i will keep them uh i'll pick them up over the used ones even if it's just a random title because it is more sellable on ebay but yeah there's loads of there's like 18 odd things there they're all listed on ebay okay so and the stuff that i didn't take to cx is listed on ebay and we've still got that stuff that's listed on ebay which i didn't take so yeah we've got quite a lot of stuff here uh the collection itself uh obviously is not really changed over the last uh few videos but yeah okay i've got loads of stuff to sell if i want to uh i'm trying to not sell stuff at this moment in time because it's supposed to be called a, a video game collection so i need video games to put this in so uh, i'm just gonna i've already made the space but i'm just gonna slot these these items in so uh just dance 2018 uh i got the up game there okay uh the lego avengers game okay so i've pretty much got a full set of lego games there i think i'm missing batman 2 uh just dance 2018 on the wii u as well as the wii the one on the wii is more valuable so i think they go up to like 20 on the wii just dance 20 uh i've got uh just dance 2015 there okay i'm just dropping a few games i'm not really thought this one through and the final one was the nba i really should get myself a little like head cam or something to do the videos but yeah okay so yeah i've still got a couple of n64 games some ds games 3ds games the wii little wii collection now is starting to come along okay all the stuff is complete really good condition so the wii u games are coming along nicely now so i've got quite a few just dance games and quite a few lego games okay uh if you've not watched my previous videos i've got quite a lot of the skylanders all the skylanders plus the box imaginator up there okay so and i've got all the starter packs for these as well and i've got all the way up to there so the plan is as well obviously get it free but i'm i'm, I'm slowly slowly accumulating a lot of wii u games now i think in the future these are going to be quite desirable so while they're cheap and i've got vouchers i'll pick them up okay they're not the best games in the world but i'll pick them up and the wii u is for anybody that likes collecting video games is a realistic console that you can collect for and get a full set i think there's about 150 pal games i'm just uh not 100 sure on that figure but it's around about there so we've got at the minute one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 and 38 games so even if my figures are off we, we're we're a not far off being a third of a full Wii U uh, PAL collection, which which would be amazing if even if I have to sell a bit of stuff and it ends up as the uh, free Wii U collection, that would be brilliant. But yeah, there's a few things I'm I'm not hundred percent sure about keeping these three Game Boy games. Realistically, I'm never going to play those, and I've. When I got the Game Boy, it was literally just a case of I've, I wanted the Tetris and the Super Mario games. So I've got them already. Uh, I've still got that flash forward box set. I've not watched that yet, but that will trade in for a bit of cash and voucher. Uh, I've kept these in the collection at the moment. I've got a small collection of, of just random PlayStation and, and uh, Master System game and a Mega Drive game that I picked up. 
in like a cash converter type shop. But yeah, it's it's coming along. Uh, I'm, I've not purchased them yet, but I'm looking for some little stands. So when I do these videos, I can put the Game Boy, uh, the DS, and DS Lite, sorry, and the 3DS, which I've picked up. I've, I don't put them on the shelf at the minute because I've got no proper way of, of displaying them, but I will do at some point. But yeah, the collection is coming along nicely. And, and hopefully, uh, by fe the end of February, the, uh, the collection will be free. We're not far off. We've got a few bits to sell and potentially sell. Uh, once we get to the February mark, hopefully we've clawed back a bit of cash. I'm, I'm not going to buy the big bundles again. If I see a random Wii game... Uh, I will just buy the week. I'll just pay the pound for the one one item rather than the ten items. So maybe I'm I'm doing that wrong, but I'm just I'm just cluttering up the shelf of 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 media items that are unnecessarily uh, unnecessarily to sit on the shelf. And obviously, as you can see there, I'm going to start running out of space soon, and I've not even got the rest of the stuff on display yet. So yeah, I'm going to have to just cut back on a few things uh yeah i've mentioned the stands so i've got a few bits and bobs uh at the end of february 24 i'll do a few full overview of the whole collection and lay everything out hopefully i will i will have the stands by then and then once we've once we're free i think my my aim obviously i've got a couple of game gear games there I think what I want to do is is get a Game Gear. That is that is the the plan. But there's a few few issues with getting Game Gears. Uh, the c capacitors can go on them. Uh, the screen is not the best. The Game Boy. I'm happy with the screen. I, I like it original. But the Game Gear, I think, might need uh, a bit of a, a modernization. But we'll. we'll cross that bridge when we get there but yeah this will be uh the last video for 2023 and hopefully i'll see you all in the new year have a good christmas and new year catch ya bye bye